Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. This card is pretty simple. It's mostly got die cutting. I'm using this Northern Lights Snowflakes die by Simon Says Stamp. It's one of their new release dies. I'm gonna cut this die out of a piece of Knight of Navy Stampin' Up cardstock. You can see I'm leaving room at the bottom for a sentiment. So I'm gonna keep this piece uh, and put it off to the side. I'm gonna use it later to cut out that uh, sentiment. I'm also gonna cut it out of Soft Sky, and I'm just gonna use this left-hand side piece. And notice that I'm leaving room at the top and the bottom, so I have a little bit of wiggle room when I put this onto my card base. So I'm gonna cut off the right side since I'm just using the left. And now I have some glitter paper. This is silver, uh, this is by Coordinations. It's the one that I've got that's adhesive. Um, and we'll get to that in a second, but I wanted to show you my sandwich. I have two Mylar shims, and I've got my top acrylic plate, and then I'm using my precision plate on top of my base plate, which is the magnetic platform. And you can see I get a really nice cut, and it just falls right out um, of the cardstock. For the silver piece, I'm just using the right side, so I'm gonna trim that out and keep the right. So now I have all my pieces cut, I'm gonna adhere them to my card base. The first one I'm gonna put on is the Soft Sky. I'm using some Tombow Bono Multi Glue, and that's so that I could get into all the little details, and also so I have some time to move it around before it really sticks permanently. So you can see I kind of move it around a little bit up and down um, just to make sure since I cut that excess on the top and the bottom so that I would have enough uh, room just in case I cut my die crooked. That's really the main reason why I cut it a little bit larger. Anyway, so my Knight of Navy piece is gonna go right there against my soft sky. And to adhere this piece, I'm gonna use my Zig two-way glue pen. And you can see I'm doing it at a diagonal so I get maximum coverage using my chisel tip. And I'm just making sure I have a really nice flow of glue and doing it pretty quickly. And the reason why I'm using the two-way glue pen is because it's really easy to apply. It doesn't dry really quick, so it gives you a little bit of time, but then once it dries, it's permanent and uh, it sticks really well. So to put this on here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up and just make sure it hits right at the edge of that soft sky cardstock piece. And so when I get to the top, then I can press the whole thing down. Now on to the silver piece. So I've used this cardstock in previous videos. Um, it is adhesive, and I really honestly don't like that it's adhesive. When I cut small pieces out of this cardstock, um, it's made by coordinations, by the way, then it doesn't stick very well, but with the big pieces, it does stick very well. So unfortunately, when I'm trying to put it against a die in a very precise location, it's hard to get exact. So I put it down and it uh, didn't work out, so I'm gonna start over, start at the top, I'm gonna try to work my way down, and I was definitely getting frustrated with it. It wasn't working out. And then finally, um, I think I kind of did this on purpose, is I ripped it because I was kind of mad at it. <laughs> so what I decided to do is just put the card aside. I got in my car, I drove to Joann's, and I picked up some new glitter paper. And the reason why I liked that one so much by coordinations is because it's very shimmery, like it's just like that micro fine glitter, so you can't even feel it when you touch it. Um, and I found the same exact glitter. It's made by American Crafts. Uh, it was kind of expensive, $1.99, but I had my 40% off coupon. So anyway, this is what I'm gonna be using. It does not have adhesive on it, so I cut it the same way as I cut the other piece. And now I'm gonna take my Tombow glue and put it on the back, making sure that I get right into those little grooves of the little pieces and then apply this the same way as I did the other pieces so kind of start at the top and work my way down and just kind of place it right up against those snowflake areas until I get right up close to it and press it all the way down once I get to the bottom then I can kind of press down the whole rest of the cardstock luckily Joann's is literally like five minutes from my house so this was not a big deal all right, so I took uh, my scissors and I cut all the way around and I cut everything larger just to make sure I went all the way to the edge. And I didn't use a trimmer because I find that it's just as easy to use a scissor and I use the, the edge of the card as a guide for cutting. I'm gonna go back to that Knight of Navy piece. I'm gonna stamp my sentiment, which is from the Lawn Fawn Merry Messages set. Uh, I'm stamping it in Versamark ink. I'll sprinkle it with some white embossing powder and then I'm gonna heat it to set it and then I'm gonna trim it at the top and bottom and I'm gonna keep those die lines on the left-hand side. Now I put some Tombow glue on it and then I used my Zig 2A glue pen to really make sure that I got into those little pieces. And I'm gonna position this right against those same die cut lines of the Knight of Navy piece so it looks like it's kind of coming out of there. And I went a little bit over the edge, so I'm just gonna take my scissor and I'll trim that excess off. 
and that'll be the end of the card. So this is a pretty easy card. The hardest part was poking out all those little detail pieces uh, once I cut them out of the cardstock, but um, it's really shimmery and pretty and very festive. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.